Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So today we're looking at an interesting card that might kill a lot of decks, lock them down real good. So this card is called Dark Lock, and it's images of a lock, a real life lock like that. No, I mean the, the art in Yu-Gi-Oh is getting better, but it's not gonna be all realistic like that. Actually, that looks kind of shitty because it's all realistic like that. It doesn't even look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Anyway, Dark Lock is a continuous spell that reads. Let's go ahead and read it. Discard one card. All right, so. You begin by negging, because you play this card, which is inherently a neg one, because activating continuous spells is inherently a neg one, then you discard a card. You know? So, for example, you start off with five cards in your hand, you play this card from your hand, so you're down, you're down to four, because it's a neg one, and you discard, so you don't have three cards to play off of, so this card, hopefully this card will be really good to, to warrant that. Negate all effects that can mill, excavate, banish, or special summon from the grave or the deck. Okay, so pretty much, yeah, you don't, some decks don't even get to play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. You can't mill, so fuck Light Swords. You can't excavate, so fuck Sylvans. You can't banish from the graveyard, graveyard so, uh, or so fuck Dragon Rulers or Special Summon from the graveyard, so, uh, so there goes Soul Charge. This, this is just locks down. When they mean Dark Lock, they mean Lock, you know? Uh, you can't summon from the graveyard, you can't summon from the deck, so fuck your fire and ice hand, like, hello, like, you know, fuck, a lot of things, a lot of things, so it might be worth it. Um, this card's effect cannot be negated if you just card one other card. Uh, what card would negate it? I don't understand, what card would negate it? I, I don't know, magic gem? I don't know. Dark Bribe? I don't know. It's a continuous spell card. It's very, very difficult to negate. So, uh, where are you negating? I don't understand. They're all like... What? They could have changed it to, like, if this card would be destroyed, you could discard a card instead, so it wouldn't be destroyed. That would make a lot more sense, because people are going to throw MSTs at it, or, you know, stuff like that. They're not going to negate it. Like, I can't even think of a time, or a situation where this card would be negated, so... Mm, eh. Alright. Each one of your standby phases, you must pay 500 life points to keep this card in the field. Uh, I I would pay 500 my points each turn just to make to lock it down to lock it down real hard like fuck light swords fuck Sylvans fuck dragon rulers fuck anything that revives from the graveyard like hello <laughs> you know fuck your all tight like that's hard 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 is a hard lockdown uh, when it leaves the field inflict damage to your opponent depending on the number of turns this card would save on the field times 100. Uh, I don't know. I don't like how you can you can choose to turn it off and on, and you know when it leaves the field, your opponent takes all that burn damage. Like, don't you think you should be taking the damage? I don't think that's kind of unfair. You know, just be like, oh, oh, well, attack, 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 and I will stop paying and burn you for the rest of it. Cause yeah, no, cause that would be your turn, their turn. Cause it just says turn, so it'd be your turn, their turn, your turn, their turn, your turn, their turn. You know, those can get up to 20 turns, so, you know, that's 2,000 life points that your opponent gets burned, because why the fuck not, so, I don't know, I don't know, this card seems very, very, very powerful, yeah, because this, this card gives the, the middle finger to big decks, alright, so, uh, apparently this person commented and listed a, a decks that he gives the middle finger to, so Sylvan, Spellbooks, Light Swords, anything revolving Dragon Rulers, Zombies, any deck that runs Soul Charge, or, you know, when Soul Charge was at 3, because this was before Soul Charge was limited, so, you know. Uh, Gang Zing, Shadows, Fire Kings, and, yeah, and lots of other things that you know, it's probably missed, but yeah, just wow, alright. So, yep, you pretty much discard two cards and fuck about 80-90% of the relevant decks in Yu-Gi-Oh, and just shut them all down, you know. Because that is just ridiculous, ridiculous, you know. You, you know, there's just some cards that just lock it down too good, and yeah, clearly, you know, because that's totally what we need in here is a, a f is another floodgate card, and this is pretty much a floodgate card. Like, hey, you don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me just play this uh, Venny's Emptiness with this Kaiser Coliseum Royal Decree, and uh, well, Kaiser Coliseum Royal Decree with this card, Dark Lock, and uh, you can shake my fucking hand because you're not doing shit. Ridiculous, like, oh my god. Ridiculous, like a floodgate card in the finest, right here. This person, this person just said, "Fuck everybody, 
And this guy, the creator, is like, this might be a tad OP. I just think it's kind of just douchey. So I think it's really just a mean card. Just, you don't get to play a lot of decks. You don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's as simple as that. Simple as that. Ah, I swear. But fake cards are fun. <laughs> Alright, so tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.